Okay. So, like I said, welcome. You have 10 minutes. In fact, you have 15 minutes for taking the history, presenting it, and answering uh, questions on them. And so, yeah. Take a focus history okay. for these patients. Okay. okay. The time begins now. Okay. Okay, so um, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Yes. And please, um, my name is Edward. And um, I'm an intern student who has been asked to take your history. Um, please, may I go ahead? Yes, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, and please, um, may I know your name? My name is Kwesi Poku. Okay, Kwesi Poku. Please, um, Mr. Kwesi, please, how old are you? I'm 65 years old. Okay. And please, um, where do you stay? Ten ten. Okay. And please, are you a Christian? Yes, I am a Christian. Okay. And please, um, may I know what brought you to the hospital? Yeah, I have this chest pain. Okay. Please, uh, for how long? For the past three days. Oh, okay, three days. Yeah. Um, Mr. Um, Mr. Poku, please. May I know uh, exactly where the chest pain? Like, can you? Yeah, the chest pain is on the right side of my chest. It's in the right side of my chest. Okay, okay, Mr. okay. thank you. And. Can you describe how how it is? Is it sudden or is gradual? Oh, it came gradually. Gradually, okay. And um, like, was it like how does it feel like when it happens? Is it does it feel like a crashing pain or it feels like a tightening pain or can you like? Do you to explain no, it, it does not feel like a, yes. a crashing pain or it doesn't feel like chest tightness. I actually feel like a sharp pain. Okay. Okay. And does the pain like go anywhere? Like no, when it no. comes, does it? it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So um does it like have you been vomit? Is there any other thing that comes with this pain? Like maybe vomiting? No, cough. The cough, I, I cough with blood. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And um so is there anything that you've done or that you do to to reduce it when it comes, the, the pain? Oh, nothing I do reduces or improves it. Mm, okay. And on a scale of one to ten, how do you rank your this pain? I'll give it like seven. Seven. Okay. And please, I, I want to ask you just a few questions about the the cough. So, um, like, does it come with sputum? Yes. Or is it just the blood? Sputum and blood. Sputum and blood, okay. And um so um when you change your position, does the cough go down? No. Like let's say no. nothing you do. Okay. Um okay. The cough, is it dry or is it wet? Okay, you said it, it comes with sputum. So is, is it more of wet? Yeah, more, more of wet, a wet cough. Mm. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, um, uh, would you say you've lost weight a couple of days now? No, I wouldn't say so. You, you have not lost any weight, Kra? 
Okay. Uh, I, I have lost weight, but within these three days of the cough, I wouldn't say I've lost weight, but I've lost weight. You understand? The thing started oh, just okay. three days ago, so within the three days, I wouldn't say I've lost weight, but me myself, I know I've lost weight. Uh, so the, the weight loss started even before the cough? Yeah, it started before the chest pain and the cough. Okay, thank you. Um, You've done five minutes. In the night, sweating, like serious sweating. No. You've never had that before? No. Okay. Um, how about your appetite? Are you able to eat normal? No, I've lost appetite though. You've lost appetite then? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And have you been to... Um... Okay. So you said you've, you've, you've lost appetite also? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions about your um your all, all your systems. Okay. So on um do you, I, I do you also vomit like blood? Is that do you no? I don't blood? vomit. No. Okay. Yeah. How about? Diarrhea. Have you gotten any diarrhea recently? No. No diarrhea. And how about constipation? Like, you're unable to go to the toilet? No, please. There's no constipation. Um, do you have any, uh, like, ankle swelling? Your your ankles are started swelling, swelling? No. Okay. How about, like, sometimes you are there, you feel your heart beating very fast? No. You've done seven minutes, yeah? You have three minutes more. So if you want to speed up, speed up. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um... So, um, have you ever undergone any surgery? Yeah, I had surgery six years ago on account of prostate C. Okay. Okay, um, so any other uh, um, admissions to Dr. Tim? Apart from the surgery I had, no. Okay. Okay. Um, so, do you live alone? I live with my wife okay. and two children. Yeah. Okay. And have you traveled anywhere recently? No. Okay. Um. Um. In, in your family, is there any history of, let's say, any cancer, any serious, any chronic no. illness? No, please. Um, are, are you on any drugs? Yes, I was put on a drug called Casodex because of my prostate CA. Okay. And please, the the dose, what was the dosage? I said 10 milligrams once a day. Okay. Um, okay, Mr. Puku. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so, so, so should I read the summary? Like, should I see the summary? Is that all for your history? You still have time. Okay, I still have time. So, do, do you take any alcohol? No. Okay. No alcohol. Are you done? Um, yes, yes. You are done. Okay. Can you present your history, please? Okay. So, um, this is a um, 
I present you, Mr. Kwesi Poku, a six five year old man who lives in Penten. So he's um he had chest pain of three days duration. And then he also had okay, so the chest pain the location was in the right side and the onset was gradual. So it's a sharp pain. It does it doesn't radiate. And the cough was with blood. The he was also coughing with blood. And he ranked it seven over ten. And this cough was also wet. So on direct questioning, he has had weight loss. He doesn't have any night sweats. And he has also lost weight, um, appetite for food. Then his respiratory system. Um, so he didn't have. Okay, um, sorry, the GIT. No diarrhea, no constipation. And then respiratory, no. He has hemoptysis and uh, sputum production. No, not sputum, uh, blood, often with blood. Then cardiovascular. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Okay. Cardiovascular, um, no uncle swelling, no palpitation. You can just say, you can just say systemic inquiry was not significant. Then move on. Okay, okay, okay. Systemic inquiry was not non significant. Then past medical history, he has been he has had a surgery before for prostate cancer. And no other um, significance. Then with social history, he's married. He has not traveled to any uh, TB prone area. He doesn't take alcohol, nor does he smoke. All right. Then, what's your diagnosis? What's your diagnosis? Uh, I think it's lung cancer. So your first diagnosis is lung cancer. Yeah. Any other? Um. Also, it can be. Tuberculosis, no, but I, I don't. It's not tuberculosis, but it can also be. It's a differential. Okay. No tuberculosis. Don't I've told you. Don't just go and say tuberculosis. Uh, Which tuberculosis? Um. Metastat. No. Pulmonary um, tuberculosis. What else? Pulmonary tuberculosis. Okay. What else? What else? What else could it be? Um. It can also be in your history, based on your history, what differential diagnosis can you generate again? Um, or this and only history. come again? I I think Okay, um, yeah, these two. What? I, I, I think these two, these two. These two, these two are the ones you are able to come. Okay. What in your history suggested lung cancer? Okay, so because he, he has had weight loss and then he has also lost appetite. And then he, he doesn't have Nice words. I see. Would it have been pulmonary embolism? Yeah, it, it could have been. What did you ask in your history to agree no. that it could have been pulmonary embolism? <coughs> All right. Um, could it have yeah, been? Ask. Could it have been metastatic prostate cancer to the lungs? Yeah, it could have been. Why was that not mentioned? Or oh, you don't think so? Okay, All right. Have... Could it have been bacterial pneumonia? Yes. Assuming it were bacterial pneumonia, how would you investigate this patient? Bacterial pneumonia. Okay, so I'll give him investigation. Okay. Um, first of all, every full blood count. You want to do a full blood count? A chest X-ray. A chest X-ray. Okay. What else? So chest X-ray, full blood count. 
What then, else? Um, I, I'll do split between contracts, rule out, cheaper process. Which, what will you do on the split team to rule out cheaper process instead of system culture? What will I do on there? What would you do to rule out tuberculosis with a sputum? Okay, so um, we'll look for acid bacilli if, if they are present. Mention one medication you would give for the pneumonia. Just one antibiotic. Um, Amoxiclab. All right. To your viral station.